powder mage. Think of the French Revolution, but with magic. You got these powder mages that shoot their bullets, sniff their gunpowder, and can make their bullets go wherever they want. You got actual magicians that can manipulate the elements, and you got these lesser ability people that just have some random powers. The story starts with our main protagonist throwing over the government and killing the king and the entire noble society. There are three main POVs throughout the trilogy. There's a militaristic one, there's a very somewhat action-heavy adventure one, and then there is a detective one. The good, each POV is different. There is great action and very unique action with the powder mage and that flintlock type fantasy mixed with the regular magic and then just uh, normal sort of action. Some of the side characters are very interesting and their interactions with the main characters are some of the more enjoyable. It's also easy to follow because it is three main POVs and there's usually only three things going on at once. You do bounce back and forth between them, but typically it's easy to follow because it's only those three that you really need to pay attention to. Bad, the main POVs are just okay. Most people would say that the characters they uh, they don't really get into in the series. It is very plot focused and not as much character focused and like I said, very high action. So if you don't really like things that are plot heavy, more character focused, this might not be for you. There's not always a lot of buy-in. There's, there's certain stretches where you go to one of the POVs and there's not much going on. You don't really care that much of what's happening. And lastly, one of the more popular tropes or more common tropes in the series is the here comes the cavalry trope. So if you want a high action, plot driven, very fast paced read, I would definitely recommend this. 